uh, adverts that uh, the Ministry of uh, Labor uh, goes out to look for them. And Mshumia speaking Rais, of... na ada ya nyumba umeitaja, mm -hmm. uh, unafahamu kwamba kuna wakenya wengi bado hawajaridhia. Licha ya kwamba kuna agizo kutoka mahakamani na nakumbuka juzi ukiwa kwenye mkutano wa diaspora pia ulisisitiza ukasema kwamba housing levy lazima itekelezwe na kadhalika. Hebu tuelezee kuna mabadiliko yoyote baada ya mahakama kutoa agizo lake na wewe kuendelea kusukuma kwamba ni sharti mkenya atozwe hii ada ya nyumba. Mahakama walisema hivi. Mahakama walisema hii ada ni sawa kama wakenya wote watalipa. Right? That's what they said. They said it should not be discriminatory. Let Mr. President, they didn't say that. Kuna they, they, say, exactly what they say. they say it is as it is, is discriminatory. It's discriminatory. And therefore yeah, exactly. unconstitutional. That, that's, that's what, no, no they, you interpret it. The, the problem of unconstitutional was made by the media. No, they said it's null and void. So if it is unconstitutional, why did the, why did the court say it should continue, they, we should continue to collect? Because how, there was how an application we, for we, stay orders. How do we continue? No, how do we go, continue to do unconstitutionality? No, Mr. President, what, at least we can agree on what the court said. Yes. And the court said uh, that we've looked at everything and we arrive at the decision that this is discriminatory. Because of that, it doesn't um, agree with the Constitution or Article 10 on governance. And therefore, it is null and void. No. Kingine ambacho labda mshimwa rais ni kongeze, ilisema mahakama. That is your story. Mahakama pia ilisema kwamba, hakuna mkakati maalum kupitia KRA, jinsi fedha hizi, zita kusanyi. Absolutely. Now, that is what they told us to fix. And that is why we now have a law in parliament. What the court said, the court said, there are institutions that are not paying. There are groups that are not paying, that are not paying in the current setup. And we have said we, we are expanding the net of the payers. It will give us actually more money so that we can do more houses, which is a very positive thing that the court has done. And they have said establish a mechanism how this money will be, will be used. We have put a mechanism in law how it's going to be used. Let me tell you, uh, good people, you know, we can argue about this or that or the other. My question is, do we have a problem with, of housing in Kenya? Yes. Do we have a problem of jobs in Kenya? Yes. Can we sort out? Because you know, it is one thing to argue, even, even if you are a judge. And I am sure that is what went through their minds. Because the judges are also Kenyans. They know we have millions of young people out there who are jobless. A story was carried, for example, in one of the media houses here. I think I saw it on KTN saying the crime rate in Ruiru has gone down because there are many people working in the housing program in Ruiru. I did not make the story. It was in KTN, and that is the truth. So even as you sit as a judge, even as you ask me a question as a journalist, we are discussing housing. Housing is an opportunity to do three, three major things. Number one, to create jobs. Is it a good thing for us to create jobs? These are not the children of William Ruto. These are the children of all Kenyans that will work. They will work as architects. They will work as engineers. They will work as carpenters. They will work as masons. They will work in whatever field. Some of them will be working in factories that are creating steel. Some of them will work in factories that are making for us cement to do the houses. Is it a good job? Is it a good thing? Do we have a problem of unemployment in Kenya? Yes. We need to sort it out. It has to be sorted out somehow. Number two, do we have a problem <clears throat> of industrialization? Do we have a problem of manufacturing? Yes. How do we create more manufacturing jobs if not through programs like housing? How do we reduce, how do, do we reduce the problem of land fragmentation? Where land that is supposed to be used for agricultural productivity is now being subdivided for people to live. If we provide alternative housing, we will save the land that is going to uh, settlement. We will use it to, uh, to produce food so that we stop the slide into food insecurity and we, we, we begin to tame the problem of high prices of food. Mr. These President, are, just, these are just, obvious. Just. And that is why I am very confident that the court will look at it, look at what is the public interest, what is the public good that comes with housing. Let me ask finally, to own a house in Kenya today, 
you need to have four million, five million. The simplest, the, 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 the most, the cheapest house. We are giving an opportunity through this affordable housing program for a Mamamboga or a, a Boda Boda guy to buy a house of 400,000 where they can pay 4,000 shillings a month and eventually own a house. I mean, we are giving dignity to every Kenyan. And let me tell you, finally, housing was a program that was in the UDA manifesto, the Kenya Kwanza manifesto, 1.5%. It was in Azimio Manifesto, 1.5 percent. Yeah, it's not, and we all know that it is the right thing to do, because other countries have done it, and they have made a big difference. We have had this housing thing for as long as I have been a politician, mm -hmm. but nobody has had the courage to implement it. Uh, Mr. Mr. Nobody, Mr. No, Mr. Just Mr. Wait, nobody has had the plan. To do it. Have you stopped to wonder or ask what the people think, what their sentiments are about this? Because times are tough, Mr. President. Put in mind, 70% are saying no to this exactly. program. Yeah. Ta ta just wait. I want you to go to where these Kenyans are working. Go and ask them. Go and ask them. The beneficiaries, the people who are working today, they are not even the owners. They are just working. Go and ask them. And you see, this is the beginning of a program. Give it time. Kenyans will come to appreciate that, yes, my son is working, my daughter is working. If, not, they, are, if they are not working at the construction site, they are an architect, or they work in some company, they are an accountant in some company that is doing cement and, 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 uh, and uh, uh, construction products. And let me ask you, countries like Singapore, like Malaysia, like Korea. We all have been talking about them. We've been saying, oh, you know, we were at the same level with Korea, but today they are different from us. They made tough decisions. That's why they are where they are. We have to make tough decisions if we have to catch up. I mean, we, if we want to continue to make convenient, you know, uh, politically correct uh, decisions, we will continue to remain in the same place. And I know, for example, that it is politically expensive. You know, I would be a very popular person if I ab abolished tomorrow. I said, okay, let's forget about the housing thing. People will come for Mr. President, I don't think there's I, anyone I, saying I that you should but I don't stop want, it. I don't want, I don't want about, to be... And Mr. President, want, if, 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 if you remember, if, if you remember, Mr. President... I want to transform Kenya. Yes, if you, if you remember. Transforming Kenya is not a walk in the park. Transforming Kenya is not going to, to be done using convenient, politically correct, popular no, decisions. Right. The Some timing, of the decisions Mr. may President. be difficult uh, now, but they will be, they, we will all see the benefits as we go. No, no Mr. doubt, no doubt about that, Mr. That, uh, President. It is, it, it is the wrong time. We've had housing as a plan for the last 50 years. Are you telling me for the last 50 years, it, 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 the, 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 there was no correct time? It is never too late. It is never wrong to do the right thing. Uh, Mr. President, um, just let's stay to the housing fund um, because at, when it started and you were 